The cells forming our bodies are fully dependent on a flawless teamwork of hundreds of thousands of molecular machines known as proteins. As a result, the malfunction of a single protein can, in principle, result in the death or oncogenic transformation of affected cells. To cure or kill these aberrant proteins, small molecules called inhibitors are often used, and for their accurate targeting, scientists need to know the exact function as well as three-dimensional structure of a given protein. A critical aspect of protein studies is their production in a pure form and sufficient amounts. To this end, our laboratory uses modern methods of protein engineering, where manipulating the genetic code of so-called cell factories compels them to produce a desired protein on demand. This process results in the preparation of highly polished proteins suitable for further experiments. Seeing is believing. Protein molecules millionths of millimeters in size cannot be observed by the naked eye. We therefore build three-dimensional models of our favorite protein. First, we employ robotics to find conditions suitable for the growth of protein microcrystals, which are then bombarded with X-ray radiation. The resulting diffraction images are finally used to calculate and build a 3D structure of the target protein. Visualization of the interaction pattern between an inhibitor and its target protein in three dimensions offers mechanistic insights into both how the protein works and how the inhibitor affects its function. This knowledge facilitates the design and development of next-generation inhibitors with improved characteristics and their subsequent evaluation in cells and animal models. Using these methods, we have, for example, successfully developed a protein able to accurately distinguish between a healthy and cancerous prostate. It can thus be used to localize and destroy tumors in our body. Overall, the biochemical, biophysical and molecular and cell biology approaches employed in our laboratory allow us to elucidate the structure-function relationship of proteins of interest at atomic resolutions. The acquired knowledge can be used for the development of future therapeutics and treatments.